Today I want to show you a new text editor, a competitor to VS Code that I have been trying out lately that I really like and that I think has a lot of potential. It's beautiful, minimalistic, multiplayer and fast. And it uses GitHub Copilot and OpenAI's GPT models in a really cool way that I think you will like. The name is Zet and it's built by the creators of Atom. Atom was a text editor that many people loved and that was created inside of GitHub before VS Code existed. Atom was sunset a while ago. I guess to make space for VS Code and GitHub Code Spaces since they are all owned by Microsoft anyway. The founder of Atom says that they are building Z to be the spiritual successor of Atom and that this time they are going to get it right. One feature at Z's core is how fast it is. Z's startup time is the fastest among Sublime Text, VS Code and C Lion. It also has the lowest memory footprint and the lowest insertion latency. A big part of this is due to the fact that Z is built on top of a Rust based UI framework called a GPUI built by the same people that build Z. GPUI uses the GPU of the machine to render Z as if it was a video game. Unlike Z, VS Code and Atom are not natively built. Both use Electron, which basically runs a browser window to render the UI of the editor using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, which of course makes them both slower than Z. Setup is really fast and easy. After you download and install it, you will see a button to choose a theme. There are lots of light and dark mode options for you to pick. Then you can choose a key map, which are keyboard shortcuts. Here you can choose to copy the shortcuts from other editors. You can choose to use the VS Code shortcuts or another one that you might be used to. There is also a button to install the CLI, which allows us to call Z from the command line. And the checkbox to enable Vim mode if you are into that sort of thing. Let's take a look at some features by starting with the most basic ones, then multiplayer and then AI. Z has the basic features you would expect from a modern text editor and they all look great. It has breadcrumbs to see where you are in a directory. If you click them, you will get an outline view, which shows you a summary of the file based on the syntax tree. This means that you can see and navigate through the functions, variables, and other things as they are written on the code. It supports code actions like VS Code to refactor code on the spot. There is, of course, a command palette to run commands for the editor, the workspace, terminal, and AI. The editor shows errors and details about them, and when you fix them, they will be grayed out until you dismiss them. It also has an integrated terminal that can be at the bottom, the side or even as a model which I really like. It supports multi for editing, code navigation and all the things you and I are used to from VS Code. Z also has multiplayer mode which I think is pretty cool. You can add the contacts from the collaboration menu and then you can share your projects with them which will send them a notification to join the call so you can edit the code together. Another cool thing is that in the middle of a collaboration call you can also share your whole screen to maybe go to a website or show your co-workers something else. Now about AI. Support for GitHub Copilot and open AI's GPT models is built into Z. It has the same autocomplete suggestions you will get if you were using Copilot with VS Code. So nothing new to see there. The cool thing is something called the assistant panel, where you can ask questions directly to OpenAI's GPT models. The first time you open the panel with command R, it will ask you for an OpenAI API key. And after you enter it, there will be a chat window where we can select the model and just ask questions to it. A super cool thing is that we can ask multiple questions and receive multiple answers in parallel. We can also select some code and send it to the conversation to ask a question about it. Another option is to use the assistant from inside the code. With control enter, we can write a prompt to generate code. And if we select a piece of code, we can write down a transformation prompt that will refactor the code. I really like Z. I like how clean it looks and I love how fast it is. It really is blazingly fast. It was fairly easy to switch from VS Code to Z because it basically imports all your keyboard shortcuts so the change was not too big. I really like how AI is integrated into it. Apart from Copilot, the assistant panel is really convenient to ask questions to a GPT without having to leave the editor. And I specifically like the transformation prompt. You Usually, if I want to use AGPT to refactor something, I have to copy the code, go to the browser, open ChatGPT, write down an instruction and paste the code. If I use Z, I can do the same but without leaving my editor, which is super cool. After switching, there is not much I miss from VS Code, except for something that may be a deal breaker for all of us, extensions. Z 
does not support extensions for now. On their FAQ, they say they're planning to make Z extensible in the future after they open source it, because right now it's closed source, but they're working on open sourcing it. One of the reasons why I think VS Code 1 is because of its huge extension library. And I don't know if Z has a shot at competing with VS Code if it's not extensible. In some cases, a VS Code extension can make or break the developer experience. So I see extensions as something that should be a super priority for the Z team. That is not to say that I've missed extensions a lot because the syntax highlighting, autocomplete, code actions, they all work out of the box in all the programming languages I tried. The first time you open a Rust file, for example, Z will automatically download the language support for it, which will give you autocomplete code actions and all that. In VS Code, you will have to go and download the extensions for the Rust language support. Maybe it could be better if the Z team takes the most downloaded VS Code extensions and implements them into the editor so they are installed out of the box. Another thing is that Z is only supported for now on macOS. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Your subscription means a lot to me. It motivates me in creating quality content every week. So please don't forget to hit that button. Let me know in the comments what do you think about Z. If you want to try it, if you have tried it, and most importantly, tell me what would it take for you to switch text editors. Do you care about speed, AI, beauty? It is a big change to make, so I want to know. Thank you for watching as always. On your Kamsahago, Tanahamida, see you on the next one. Dami bye bye.